Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've been out for a specific sunrise video this year and the light's not amazing but there's some cool clouds. I'm just out at Barney View and I just wanted to come and try and shoot a specific scene that I've shot once before on black and white with a little sort of outbuilding and the mountain in the background. So this is my view. That's Mount Barney up there with that big thick cloud on top which looks really cool. And here is the roof of that little outbuilding. Last time I was here the grass wasn't quite so long so you could see it a little bit better. But we'll just see how it turns out. But I'm going to take this shot fairly quickly. There's not a lot of colour around but I don't want the, the light to get too harsh. It's still 25, uh, 15 minutes till sunrise but it's just everything's nice and soft at the moment. So I've got my G617 panorama camera with me and I've got Kodak Ektar loaded. I do also have the Hasselblad in the car, so I'll just see, if I get this shot, we'll just see if I can find something else that I like. So I've only got one stop difference at the moment between the roof of the out building of the little shed or whatever it is and sort of the cloud because the cloud's a bit dark so i'm happy to to expose for the building and i think that one stop will be fine with negative film so that was f32 at 30 seconds f32 i'll be able to get enough depth of field by shooting at hyperfocal distance so that will give me everything from three meters to infinity and acceptably sharp focus and I've got a lot of grass around and it'd be nice for the grass to be at least, you know, reasonably, reasonably sharp for some of it. So I'm going to expose 30 seconds. There we go. So that's the first shot. It's a cool view here at least. This is the main photo I wanted to get. Unfortunately, I didn't really get any color. I was trying to set up when a tiny bit of color, we're trying to find my way down here. It's a bit snaky. When a little bit of color hit the clouds on Mount Barney, but it wasn't much anyway. And now there's quite a lot of cloud cover coming over to the east. So I may not really get much more. It is starting to pick up a little bit out that way, out sort of to the north. It's picking up a little bit of colour. It's not a composition, but I'll just see. It might stretch around a little bit and I might get another one here and see what I get. You can see a little bit of that pink colour out there. And it stretches around to Mount Maroon over there and a little bit further past. So if I'm lucky, I might get a little bit come around here. <laughs> I wish I could get something with that colour. Might just try and swing the camera around a bit. See if I can get something with Mount Maroon. So I've got a composition. Getting some of the trees just there. And it might even get the outhouse building as well. So let me just meter that one. And there's some cows on the hill which might look pretty cool. Colours sort of not intense, but that might be quite nice. So again, one stop difference between the sky and the mountain. So I go 15 seconds at F32. Wind that on. Made that mistake every now and then of forgetting to wind on on this camera. Here we go. So that should get some of that cool colour above Mount Maroon. It's a nice morning, but the sort of cloud has picked up a little bit, so 
there's a bit of a mix of high cloud and low cloud. So I guess we'll just wait and see. So it looks like my patience may have paid off. We're starting to get some color creep across into the clouds that are sitting on top of Mount Barney. The, the sun will come up pretty soon. It's, well, the sun's, the sun's above the horizon now. It's just not above the hills. So, oh, I've just got some light hitting Mount Barney. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. There it is. That light on Mount Barney. What a morning. This has just gotten great. I need, the sun is just creeping above the hill. You know, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get a good shot. Two seconds, F32. I need to take this. I need to take this. And that's my last shot on that roll, so I'm going to have to run up to the car, grab some more film, just in case. But that's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked. It's always nice to see the first light hit Mount Barney. It's pretty cool. This is the hard part. Trying to change films in a hurry because that light and color is not going to last long. Oop, don't want to fat roll it from rushing. One roll. One second, F32, Fuji Pro 160 NS, my favorite. Got it. I haven't shot a roller 160 NS in a little while because I don't have that much left. So I'm trying not to waste it, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think now that the best of the color had started to leave and you've just got a little bit of pinky orange in the cloud, but it's not super vibrant. I actually think that should work really well with the 160. Whereas the little bit more pink, when it was a bit more pink and vibrant color would probably work really well with that Ektar. Now that we've got a bit more light just on the general area and it's very green here that sort of green tones that people tend to really love with fuji should look pretty cool all right now i'm pretty happy one roll of ektar started a roll of fuji this was this was the main shot i wanted to get today so life's good life's good i wonder if i should try something a bit different get the outbuilding and just these little trees just experiment a little now i've got my main shot I might just try and find something that I didn't see last time I was here and that I didn't really look for. I think it's... So I've just framed up a bit of a different composition here. Where you get the roof of the outbuilding in this little grove of trees. Might see a couple of those cows in the background too. So F32, two seconds. Better cock the shutter. Oh, well, that was one second. I forgot to put it to bold mode. Two one second exposures on the one frame should equal two second exposure.
just going to try something a little bit more minimal, just with a little bit of grass, maybe a bit of the fence line, the hill, the clouds, and the sky. So I've popped a grad ND in. Let's wind on. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. F45 might give a bit of a sun star. I've got the grad ND in just to try and control the sky a bit. All right, here we go. There we go. See how that is? That was the third shot on this roll. So I've got one more frame. I might go for a little bit of a drive, see if I can find something. I did shoot the last frame of the 160NS on that little drive, but I didn't have enough space to set up the camera and record it. So here is the shot. Okay, well, I think that's me done this morning. I ended up shooting two rolls of film, the roll of Kodak Ektar 100 and the roll of Fuji Pro 160. For those of you who may be fairly new to this channel, Fuji Pro 160 is my favorite negative film. I just don't shoot it all that much at the moment because I'm starting to run low. And I also, and Kodak Ektar is my second favorite. So that's what I shoot mostly at the moment because it's more readily available. I had a really nice morning out here in the Rathdowney Barney View area out in the scenic rim. If, you, if you've been hanging around the channel for a while, you probably know that I, I like this area quite a lot. So it was really nice to get out, film a video, take some photos. I've been a bit quiet on YouTube and the other social media's channels this year, so I'm sort of wanting to get you know back into that again. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions, feedback, comments, anything you have down below. I really love interacting with you. And yeah, I can't wait to see you next time.